in order to get a message across about kids with CP. You know, if you were having a conversation with an adult who really didn't understand it, right? And certainly no one has lived through it the way you have, mm -hmm. but what would you want to tell someone so that they can better understand how to engage, how to interact with someone who's, who's gone through this? The biggest thing that I've learned over the years that people don't seem to understand is CP, I hate to say is similar to autism because I don't mean it. it's like autism. I just mean in the spectrum sense that you can have severe and you can have minimal damage to the brain and to the gross motor section of it. Most people hear cerebral palsy. They automatically think, okay, wheelchair, nonverbal, non this, non that, but there's so much in between. Jake is not cognitively affected. That's the biggest hurdle I have. You see Jake, you can physically he's, see he's disabled, but but because of that, people talk to him like he's mentally disabled as well. And that makes him so angry because he says, oh, because I can't walk, people think I'm stupid. And I think people are really just trying to be nice, but I don't think they realize a lot of these kids might be cognitively affected somewhat, but for many of them, it is just a gross motor or it is just a fine motor. Talk to them like you would another 10 year old and kind of gauge it from there on the conversation you could go to. But talk to that child on that child's age level, not what you think their brain level can handle. No, that's it's a great perspective and really appreciate that. Thank you so much for sharing that, Shannon.